Let me show you just a little bit about how we do things here at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. What's up guys, this is Travis with Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. We decided to make some videos busting some common myths when it comes to welding. So the first one we're gonna do is the Venturi effect. There's a common myth that says if you have a leak in your argon hose, you can blow porosity in your weld. In this video, we're gonna put it to the test. Let's check out the Scotsman and see what he's got to say about it. Today, we're gonna start a new series. It's welders myth busting. So all you welders with all your excuses, you better get ready. Myth number one, a leak in your argon hose will suck air and cause porosity. It's called the Venturi effect. Venturi. And if you have flow going this direction, and you have a Y here, or a hole, it will cause a suction from this side. And then you flow through your argon hose here. There was a hole right here. that could possibly create suction there. Now, let's see if it's true or not. As you can see, guys, we got a spray bottle full of some soap. And we've got some pieces of plastic attached to our TIG rig. So you can see that the gas is blowing from the cup. There's bubbles totally encasing the leak. We got flow back here, but the bubble's steadily growing. That means that there's no suction. There's no Venturi effect. The myth of having a loose connection and getting porosity is busted. It's fake. All you superintendents have been had. Your welder got you. Okay, we get it. Some of y'all are still skeptics. So we decided to do it again, just to show y'all one more time. Okay, you see the bubbles growing right there? I got full flow. The bubble's still getting bigger. The bubble's still getting bigger. If there was a Venturi effect, these bubbles right here would get smaller. There's no Venturi effect myth of the porosity from a loose connection is busted. The welders got you. Let's see a little bit about the science behind this. The Venturi effect says that if you have enough flow here, it will cause a vacuum here. But all that is relative to the size of a hole you have here and how much flow. The flow has to exceed the diameter of the orifice to be able to cause a suction. When it comes to the pressure behind argon, inside the main argon line, if you get a hole here, you're always going to be expelling gas. You're not going to be creating a Venturi effect. We proved it. The bubbles are always getting bigger. If you were causing a suction, the bubble would be getting smaller. The reason why it, we run a welding school. The reason why I know this is I can walk around the school and half the students out there, probably 90% of them have loose connections on the TIG rig and they're not blowing porosity. That's a common thing to get loose. Anything on your TIG rig, your gas lines, your torch head, they're always loose, they're always leaking. It's easy to say and after you've got porosity and go find a loose connection, it's not hard to go do that. 99% of every welder that's out there is probably going to have a little small leak somewhere 
He's just blaming it on that leak. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope y'all had fun watching this video. We had a lot of fun making it. And this is just the first of many to come. We're going to do a whole series on these welding myth busters. So uh, just stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And put your comments below on some more myths y'all like to try out. Here's a story I want to share with you guys. A Navy captain is alerted by his first mate that there is a pirate ship coming toward his position. He asked a sailor to get him his red shirt. The captain was asked, why do you need your red shirt? The captain replied, so that when I bleed, you guys don't notice and aren't discouraged, then fight off the pirates eventually. The very next day, the captain is alerted that 50 pirate ships are coming towards their boat. He yells, get me my brown pants. <laughs>